Hello, welcome to study five in our series on one anothering. Believe it or not, we've hit the halfway mark, which means that we've got as much good stuff in front of us as we've had behind us. And it has been uh, tremendous and wonderful and encouraging to grow in one anothering uh, through these great things that we've already been able to, to look at, this journey that stretched before us to love one another, to live in harmony with one another, to confess our sins with one another, to offer hospitality to one another. And all of those kinds of things mean that we've sort of been able to thrash out together and grow in and, and support one another in has been so good. And in this study, we come to the area of comforting and praying for one another. That's interesting. Are we trying to get in a few extra one another's by clumping together, comforting and praying? Why, why a dual focus in this study? Um, well, there's actually a lot that's entwined together about comfort and prayer. Prayer is a key opportunity to comfort one another, to come before the King of Kings, the creator of the universe on behalf of somebody with them and and for them to know that you're doing it alone as well is just such a incredibly wonderful and significant form of comforting one another. The truth is, sometimes really hard things happen in life. Sometimes there's disappointments that come our way. All of a sudden, they're just overwhelming. And, and we reach the end of our capacity to be able to deal with those things ourselves. It can happen in that sort of sudden, instant kind of moment Sometimes it's gradual and slow, just thing after thing builds up and finally it gets to the point where we're struggling to cope. And, and in all of these instances, and in less significant, less major kind of things as well, we need the comfort of others. We're part of a community where God has made us to be able to journey together. And that includes being a listening ear being wisdom speaking into our faulty thinking where our minds go in all sorts of different places and, and, and refocusing, helping one another to refocus. God's got it in control. Even the hardships that we deal with, even the, the trauma and the sorrow that we need to deal with, God's got it all in control. He's got it sorted out for eternity and, and, and we can journey with one another to comfort each other and to bring one another before God, that our struggles and that our sorrow and that our needs will be, will be surrendered to God and that we'll trust God, that we'll see God, that we'll grow in depth of character and, and love and, and faithfulness and godliness. That's part of God's pathway and God's pattern that he has for us. In, in short, God places us together to comfort one another. Hard times, are challenging and are difficult. Doing it together, knowing that other people know what we're going through and can help us, can love us, can pray for us, is just part of God's magnificent way of growing us in strength. And God's spirit, God, God listens to the, the prayers, our prayers and the prayers of, of our friends and our growth group around us and our, the, the, the people in our church and, and family, people who are praying for us. God listens to the prayers and, and God answers according to his great and perfect purposes. This, this I've heard it said and before that, that, that pain is, is too precious to waste because it's opportunity for growing in dependence upon God, dependence upon prayer, dependence upon the prayers of people around us. Look, look around you at, the, at your growth group uh, at, at the moment and you'll see an enormous diversity. You'll see people that are, 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 are struggling, you'll see people that, are, that are, seem to be on the top of everything, but, but life is still frail and fragile and our circumstances and difficulties and perspectives can change. We have this privilege in our diversity. Whatever stage, whatever, whatever's happening in our lives at the moment, and however different that might be even next week, we've got this privilege of being able to comfort one another and draw and focus and point each other to God and to pray for each other. And the burdens that we're going through are lifted 
as we pray together and as we and as we engage together with the struggles that we have. It's no accident that God's placed us together. It's God's perfect plan and he knows that we need it. God has called us to one another. By the way, you'll notice in our in our study, each study, there's this little section which is encouraging somebody to share a testimony. I don't know if if you've have been one of those people that shared a testimony or if the whole group that you're in might just say, oh, that's too hard. I don't want to say that. Can I just say, I encourage you to be open and vulnerable, to share what God's done in your life in the past, what God is doing in your life, what you're going through, to share a personal testimony. And by doing that, to share, you will be encouraged and others will be encouraged too. By, by God's work and, 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 and people will be praying and, and God is giving glory through engaging with each other like this. So that's just a little aside. When it comes to the time to share a testimony, perhaps even in this study, why don't you put your hand up and, and share what God's been doing in your life? But right now, when I come before God, I'm going to pray. Please join me in prayer. Father God, it's, <laughs> we're praying about growing in prayer. We're praying about growing in comfort, prayerfully comforting one another and engaging with one another in times of particular need. I'm conscious that right now, some people in this group are in a time of particular need, perhaps even crippling need. Perhaps it's new, only last week. Perhaps it's been like that for years. Thank you for the privilege and joy it is to journey together prayerfully and deeply and earnestly and thank you that you are the god of comfort that that you hear our prayers and that your holy spirit is at work and, and even in the midst of of challenges we can grow in character and dependence upon you and in love of one another and dependence upon each other so we come before you and commit our time to you in this study and we ask and pray that we get really well, convicted where we need to be convicted and encouraged and spurred on in great and good ways, in praying and comforting one another. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Well, please open your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11, and have a blast of a time as you uh, contemplate uh, comforting one another in a prayerful way. May God bless you.